All right, hey Sagittarius. So I'm doing a singles read, 30 to 45 day intention, you guys. And you're gonna know this is your read by your energy and your past experiences when it comes to love. So if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome, you guys. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. And I do hope that you guys will click the notifications bell only because the last few months, I feel like my reads have been getting kind of squashed down. But hey, we just had a big comeback, all right? So thank you guys for being here. All right, so I'm going to start with some romance angels. And I'm going to pull the mutual energy of that later. All right, so these have been pre-shuffled. Let's just get your energy, Sagittarius. Ooh, look at you guys. You guys, I feel, are processing. You're in healing mode. I feel like you're finding your spark again, all right? And I feel like you guys could have been single for some time, just kind of being on the uh, experimenting with um, self-love, self-care, gratitude for yourself. Um, you know, I really feel like for whoever's here, you are just in the throes of self-love, which is what you should be in. Because you know what? When you're in this healing dynamic and when you carry self-love, when you know your value, when you know what the emo the emotional connection that you want and that you crave and desire you're giving that to yourself which is beautiful um anything less than that you guys is it's going to attract you know that like energy so what you're doing right here is you're calling in somebody who's in alignment with you okay with the page of swords it could just be like you know maybe you're thinking when's it my turn i've been single for quite some time you know and then boom you just happen across this video and here's your confirmation all right, and here's you kind of being Snoopy, um, trying to get a glimpse into the future. Hey, are you talking to me, Becky? I, yes, I am. Okay, I'm talking to you. I really feel like this energy is beautiful. The Queen of Cups coming through is somebody with emotional balance, compassion. It's like you're not only giving care, uh, love to yourself, but you're actually pouring that energy out to other people, which is how you should be, you guys. Um, not that I'm... Um, I'm not Oz, you know, from Wizard of Oz. I'm not Oz, but I can just see it because I've, I'm in that embodiment myself, you guys. All right. So let's just see what your experiences have been when it comes to love, when it comes to love. Okay. So past experiences, what I'm going to say, you guys could have dealt with some selfish people or just one-sided energy. Okay, um, where you're giving yourself to to the to this person, the situation, or multiple situations. What I and the reason I say that is because the seven of wands just popped out. Uh, but what I feel is when it comes to your past experiences, you give and give and give and give and give, and now you're in this energy like, no, I'm gonna be on the receiving end. I, I'm tired of of giving, 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 um, and it's all for naught. Okay, you got the full card coming through, and I really feel like your energy with that full card, as far as your experiences, is kind of left you in that, you know, feeling foolish, maybe even be being hard on yourself or beating yourself up because you're so nice. You're so generous. You're so kind. You give, 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 give. And all people do is take, 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 right? You have the three of coins showing up, um, you know, and in reverse, I just feel like there's just, there's not been a huge success. Even if you had one good um, dynamic, you know, you have the ace of cups showing up, you give your heart, you pour your heart out, but I just feel like there's inconsistencies and unfairness when it came to the return on that investment, okay? With the world card coming through, you guys, I just really feel like, again, you give people your world, your energy, your time, your space, and it just ends in, in this heartbreak, you know? And it's not even toxic situations that I see here. It's more about uh, the, la the lack of reciprocity, you know, the return on investment. It's like, yeah, I'm done. Um, and it's not even that you're mad or hateful or spiteful. You're just in this energy of now I know myself. Now I know what I deserve. And now I know that if somebody comes at me and I, I, if I get a whiff that this person is, is un, unhealed or if they're not honest with themselves, you know, you, you guys can pick it up in an instant, right? If you sense it, you don't even let them in. That's just what I feel because you're done. You're, it's like you're, you are closing the chapter on that bullshit of, ha of the past, so let's let's see who's coming towards you. Who is going to grace your presence with themselves? Who is coming towards Sagittarius? This person could be younger than you, and you got water energy, heavy, heavy, heavy. You got the Page of Cups. All right, there's your younger person, quite possibly. If they are not younger than you in age, they're they're younger than you in spirit. There's nothing wrong with that. 
you got two pages coming through and you have death card coming through. So you got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person coming through, they could be younger than you. Again, we have Taurus energy at the bottom of the deck. This person has had their own experiences of ups and downs when it comes to love. The Knight of uh, the Knight of Coins is a wounded warrior, you guys, and that is somebody who's been through the ringer themselves, okay? With the Page of Coins, this right here is somebody who wants to look forward to the future with uh, like a new perspective when it comes to love. They don't want any situations of the past. They don't want this, they don't want to repeat those patterns. You don't either. All right, with Death card coming through, this is somebody who also has kind of transformed the way they look at relationships. Okay, you got the page of cups coming through. So with those pages, I mean, you know, you you combine them too. It's it's creative energy. It's youthful energy. It's uh, opportunities. All right. I just feel like this person comes at you and they just want to know all about you. They could be so interested in you that they actually kind of negate even giving um, you some hints about themselves, you know, but I really feel like that's coming through as intrigue, especially if this person is younger than you. All right. Because you're coming through with that queen of cups energy. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. I just kind of see them like, wow, I've never, I've never experienced somebody who has hope for the future. Somebody who has the positive um, expressions, you know, um, and I really feel like that energy is coming through like the aspect of love, having love for yourself. All right. And it's like the more you guys talk and communicate and connect, the more they're going to be drawn to your energy. All right. So the mutual energy sitting behind you guys or in between you guys, look at this. We got past life relationship. And I don't know why I'm getting like really um, emotional right now, but that's, that's awesome. You guys, because I really feel like this is going to be um, a whirlwind change this is going to be something that you have not experienced. And it's almost like what you guys have experienced through the egos of other people. This person comes through with actual love. You got trust coming through also. And I feel like that's you guys kind of opening up your hearts to this dynamic. Okay. It's like, uh, it's okay. All right. It, I feel like your angels and spirit guides are saying it's okay for you to, to open your heart up for this one, because this is going to be our gift to you, Sag. All right, you got the past life the dynamic coming through here. Um, it could be uh, recognized quicker or sooner on um, the other person's end opposed to yours or vice versa. I feel like it's going to be an instantaneous recognition on the soul level, okay? So um, that is beautiful energy. I just love it. I don't really feel like I have to clarify this energy right here just based on what's coming through. And I feel like too, intuitively, you guys are going to know that you can trust, um, you know, you can allow this person to come through. You can trust the universe. You can trust this dynamic. Um, and, you know, remember at the beginning of this one, I was saying, oh, you, you, you could tell in an instant if somebody's being wishy-washy or they're being fake and they're not being their authentic self, you're going to be able to see that. And with this person, you're immediately going to have this. I feel like it's a calming, intuitive feeling of trust. Okay. So let's see how this person will make you feel. Young. They're going to make you feel young. Look at that. We got the page of wands coming through again. So I really feel like with this page of wands, it's a spiritual, it's belief in the spiritual aspects of life. If you guys have never been really heavy duty into soulmates and all that, I feel like this person's going to give you a new perspective on the soulmate dynamic. All right. And if you guys have been working on yourself, like I have already seen, I feel like you're going to just deep dive. And I really feel like this person's going to bring out your authentic nature. Okay. The queen of cups is somebody who's very intuitive. You guys could have some Scorpio cusp. Um, in, in your chart or even Capricorn. Um, but I really feel like this person is going to want to make you deep dive into your, uh, uh, the, the deeper aspects of yourself. I want to know more about me. And it's almost like this person is bringing out, all right, the spiritual side of this connection and, you know, through you. Um, and I just feel like this is like a whole new playing field, something that you have not experienced. All right. With those six of wands, this is like going the distance, you know, this right here is achieving, um, it's achievements. It's the win. I just really feel like it's all about pushing forward. It's a victory. And I really feel like you're going to see this connection as one that makes you feel harmonious, one that makes you feel like you got this, you know, um, everything you experienced was worth it. And now that this person steps into your life, you're like, yeah, I deserve this. I'm going to, I'm going to scoop it up. So let's see how they'll feel about you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twin flame energy coming through, which is what I seen. 
Okay, so this person, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, which definitely is basically saying, you know, this person, um, I'm, they may have been drawing on confliction when it comes to wanting to put themselves into a relationship, you know, because people are flighty, they're flaky, you know. I feel like this person comes through with the Five of Swords in, in the reverse um, as far as how they'll feel about you is, ba you know, basically, I can let my guard down with the Sagittarius, you know, I can, I can trust, you know, and I really feel like, you see these two cards right here. This is surrendering. This is waving the white flag. This right here is like, okay, all right, we got this. And this person, I, I almost feel like they're going to recognize the connection before you do. I don't know why I feel like that, but I just, I really feel they're going to recognize the, the, the soul level dynamic um, quite possibly before you. And we have this 10 of cups coming through, which is like the ultimate, um, the ultimate fulfillment when it comes right from the heart space, you guys. I love that the Ten of Cups comes through because this this person has already seen a future. It's like one or two meetings and then boom, they can see a future. All right, so we're going to look at the short-term potential, which is going to be uh, from the day you meet them to three months out. So the short-term potential for you and this person. What do we have? The short-term potential. We got the King of Cups showing up. Ooh, you guys. There's a queen and king coming through. You guys have this recognition. Look at that. There's a powerful energy coming through. It, it, this is like a spiritual connection. This is where you guys, um, it's like you're going to start discovering more about yourself, your intuition, your gifts, your magic, um, everything that is special about you. I really feel like you're going to just, um, it's almost like you're going to have this overload or this overwhelming experience. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands showing up in reverse, which could indicate, you know, um, frustration, scattered energy, just all over the place. All right, but I don't feel like it's negative energy. I really don't. I, I feel like with the short term potential, it's like, um, it, I feel like you could be in your head a little bit. I don't see no grand disconnections right here, but I just almost feel like it's like there's just going to be a, like a wake up. I, I can't help but feel like it's a wake up, you guys. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how to explain it other than I have experienced this. Um, and when I first met this person I, I'm on this journey with, I just, I was in my head a lot. I was all over the place. I was scatterbrained. I was gaga over this person. Um, and I wanted it so bad and, and I wanted it to work out so bad. And now it's like two and a half years later, I come to this like calm. It's going to be what it is. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'll just say, I feel like I'm on the twin flame journey. Um, and it is up and down and, and around and about, and it's all over the place. But I just, in my heart, two and a half years later, man, I just, I, um, there, there is no other explanation for it. And we're going to see what, what happens with this. All right. But at the beginning, this um, scattered energy that I had, it wasn't even negative. It was just like, all right, I'm going to take a break and I, you know, I'll, you know, I'll get a hold of you in 30 days or so. I just, I'm, I was going through my spiritual, uh, progression, I guess you could say going and doing meditations. I was learning, you know, I was taking a time out from people in the world and that just got, my energy was all over the place. It really was. And I feel like that's, and I can't help but feel like you guys are going to have this leveling up of your energy. Um, if you guys have thought you've been on a twin flame journey, potentially it could have been a karmic and this person right here is going to shift you into seeing what the real deal is. Okay. And that's specifically for those who resonate with twin flame or thought maybe you had met a twin flame. I really feel like you guys are going to be in it. I, I feel like you're going to be figuring out that if you felt that you were a part of a twin flame journey, this person comes through and you're going to be like, Oh, okay. This is what it is. And the reason I say that is because I've experienced both catalyst karmic twin and the real. Okay. So let's just see what the long-term potential is. The long-term potential. Here's your past life relationship confirmation. Okay right here oh well where'd it go it, did that card really just flip it okay well i'm not gonna it, it was the six of cups you guys i seen that card it popped up and it must have went back in the deck all right long-term potential sorry we have the eight of wands and the queen of coins and i really feel like you guys are just going to solidify everything everything is moving forward um you got the three of cups showing up at the bottom of the deck which is union it's harmony it's happy times ahead you guys this is like everything forging towards the future with a good feeling and a good embodiment of emotion. You know, that's positive, positive energy. So we're going to pull to see whose initials come through here. Initials, Sagittarius. We got E, R, J, G, Z, O, N, H. I love you guys so much. Good luck. 